Hey everybody, it's Marsha Holland again. Let's do green. Green, green, green. I've already done my makeup, so let's get started on the green eyes. Yes, I like to try to change things up a little bit and do, you know, different things. So, did purple yesterday, so today I'm going to do green. I'm going to use my little clicky pen I got from Ulta for my eyebrows. And we're just going to get started. I'm going to use my little guideline here to know where to start. Like that. I do believe one, this brow right here, I think, is getting thinner. Don't like that. So let's see if we can't help it a little bit, huh? I'm just trying to follow the uh, guideline of my natural brow and helping it out a little bit. Here we go. Not much talking when I'm doing my brows. So we're going to use that guideline of this, this, and this. See me do it a hundred times, huh? Oh, there are some girls out there that's got some gorgeous brows. We are just going to do what we can do with what we got to do with. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Thank you so much for watching. Share my video. If you know someone more mature that uh, you think would love, that would have fun doing makeup. It can be therapy, you know. You can come along up here if you want to. I'm not going to do it today because I'm getting ready for work. But you can get your concealer and you can clean it all up with concealer. Or you can use your foundation. Today all I have on is uh, some airbrush effect to tighten this up up here. And I've got some translucent powder and blush. And that's all I've got on my face today. Yeah. I do have some a new product that I, uh, I'm trying out. I think it's by, what is it, by NYX? Of course, I don't have, yeah. It's a NYX brow powder. Maybe I'll put that on. I'll draw my design on here and then use the powder to fill in. How's that? It's not supposed to be about brows today, though. Let's see how it works. This is very pigmented, though, so I don't want my brows to be super dark, but sometimes that happens anyway. I'm just going to kind of go sideways instead of using the point. See what I'm doing? I'm just kind of giving it some color. don't want to get too much. You notice that I have bent my spoolie. See that? Makes it easier to handle. Just a little tip. And I think that brow powder is getting on my skin. I may have to use some concealer. After all. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to use a natural color. I don't want to highlight anything. I want it to be natural. Just a little bit. Right there, I see. Ugh. Got it on my brow. See there? Got it on my brow. Now I got to go back and do my brow again. Oh, well. <sighs> what a challenge. What a challenge. <laughs> Here we go. Better. I 
There you go. That's all I'm going to do. This side's always more challenging. Let me get this put up. This brow is higher. Because I sleep on this side. I don't know if you can get refills for this little pen. I have no idea. I doubt it. I'm always into gadgets. I get sucked in all the time. You should see my kitchen gadgets. I got kitchen gadgets galore. I'll use them once or twice and then put them in the cabinet and that's the end of it. My favorite thing to do is to use my brow wax, which it's waterproof and smudge proof. So as long as you're messing with it and, um, you know, correcting everything while it's still fresh, you can, you know, get it all corrected. If you wait till it dries, it's a little harder. Yeah. You know, uh, Pandora has gotten where they get more and more and more commercials on. aggravating they want like $4.99 a month for ad free I'm thinking about it but not so much okay a little brow tint on this one and then we'll be done we'll get that green going I think how I get it up here is I flip it up. Try not to do that. See, it's very pigmented. I have to be so careful. Smooth it in. Okay, so now we're ready to start on that green. Going to do a little bit of concealer. And, you know, it's probably a good idea to do this part before you do your brows. I don't know why I do what I do. <laughs> I just do what I do. <laughs> Any makeup artists out there watching me, they go, cringe, oh, what's doing? Somebody tell her. <laughs> now, I don't set my concealer, uh, primer, or whatever you want to use. I don't set that on my eye because what do you set it with? You set it with powder, right? Setting powder. If you have a good, a really good um, shadow, that would work, I would think, right? Wouldn't you think that? I would. Okay, here we go. Today I'm going to use my Acti Labs palettes, I think, and then my green is going to be from Styla. I have a Vendom palette one and Vendom palette two. One is shimmer and one is matte. And I think I'll use the matte one for the uh, overall. Get my right brush. And I think I'll use, uh, I'm going to be doing the greens and browns, so I'm going to use this color right here for my overall. And this actually sets my primer concealer, too. This does. If you use an overall color, like a base color, I call it. Just kind of something I do. Thank you so much for your uh, warm and sweet comments. Uh, it's inspiring for this old lady. But like I was saying earlier, if you 
have any friends, a mom, an aunt, a grandmother, whatever, that you think would really love to be playing and makeup, but they think they're too old, set them straight. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Styla Green as on my lid. Get this one. See, it's got two colors there. We'll use the darker green on the lid. And it is a shimmer. I'm really getting into shimmer and glitter. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. One thing I have not got the nerve to do is these Halloween looks that everybody's doing. Have you seen the talent out there? <gasps> oh, no way could I compete. Ugh. I have some little kit, cat ears. I was thinking about maybe doing uh, a cat face or something. That would be pretty easy, right? All over the lid and kind of over to the side, just a wee bit like that. See? I would do just one eye, but you know I'm terrible, terrible, terrible if I do one eye for you guys and then go back and try to remember what the heck I did on my eye. <laughs> Oh, I like it green. I like it. I like it. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. So now we're going to get into my Vendom palette. And as you can see, well used here. <laughs> I'm going to do a uh, First, I'm going to do some gold, and then I'm going to do a darker dimension color. So, which gold do I want to use? This dark gold will work. Using a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go, I'm using, what I'm doing is I'm using my crease as a guideline, right? That with hooded eyes, you're wasting your product trying to put something in the crease. So, we're going to go above my crease, slightly above, and then we're going to go on over here towards the tail of my brow, and what that does, and it'll show up more when I do what I call my dimension color, it'll show up more when I do that. This is going to help create an illusion, I hope, to... Uh, to help my hooded eyes not stand out so bad. So we're just lightly using a fluffy brush and just gently going from here to here. Can you see? And one of the rules they say is hooded eye people should not use shimmer on that bone because it highlights that bone. <sighs> but I'm a rebel, so I love the shimmer, and Wayne Goss, the famous makeup artist from the UK, you know, he said it was fine. And he's also said that, you know, he, he has got his little rules and regulations, but he is not above changing his opinion. And that was one of the things he changed his opinion on, was using shimmer on that bone. It don't look bad, does it? I don't know if I'd put glitter on it, but shimmer looks good. I like Wayne Goss. He's down to earth. He's not showy. He's not, you know, good night. He's not drama. There's enough drama in this world. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Going all the way across towards the end of my brow. These are very nice colors. And did you know, too, don't forget that you can also dampen your brush and you can get bolder colors 
out of something if you dampen your brush, which I'm not going to do that today. So I think I'm bold enough. I like green. I have brown eyes, so, you know, brown eyes can pretty much wear just about any color, actually. The light is a little different, too. All right, so we're going to get ready to do the dimension color. And then we will highlight that bone up there a little bit. I mean, the brow. Yeah. What dimension color do I want to use, though? Let's see here. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, I might as well use... Let me see what's in the other one. So many to choose from. Oh, there's a dark... My eye goes to that right there. Let's see what that does. We can always go back and do black, though, you know? I'm going to use a little skinny brush. Because I want to go right here first. Outer edge. We may end up going and using the black anyway. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. Let me see. Let me get a different brush. Let's get a different brush. I need a fluffy brush, but I need one with a little more control. How about that one? When I do my dimension color, I don't go all the way over here. I kind of stop halfway. Use, use, again, using my crease as the guideline to where to go. And then I come up on the bone towards the brow. I might even do a little black, but let's try to keep it together so I can remember what I'm doing here. <laughs> Using my crease as the guideline and then gently coming up over the bone towards the eyebrow. What do you think? Do I need to add black? I think I'm. I, I think I'll do away with the black today. We'll go under here with it too. Now, when I do under my eye with the shadow, I want to make sure that there's no gap. So I'm gonna come up here with my brush and blend it down. also put a little dab of green there. I might do that too. Have fun. Isn't that the name of the game? Have fun. Sanderson Farms presents Join some makeup groups and you can get so many tips. You will see so much talent. It's unbelievable, the talent out there. Some of them are professional makeup artists, but some of them are not. Some of them are just like me and you. They just happen to have a little extra talent. Let's put a little green under here, okay? A little bit of green. Here we go. This time I will use this other green, the lighter green using a small brush and kind of going under oh, that's pretty I know this camera is not picking up how pretty that green is I bet you see yeah go up everything goes up I have a new little gadget I'm going to do. I'm off tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a video about it. 
It's a secret though. I'm always behind time, so you guys probably already know about it, but you'll have to watch my video. I might do a live, I don't know. We'll see. How's that? A little more. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to use my favorite highlighting. Let's get that. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. I mean... Your hands have got to be clean, right? You got to be careful when you're doing this stuff. You don't want bacteria <clears throat> smearing bacteria around, that's for sure. Just a little bit there, a little bit over here. I'm always scared I'm going to get stuff in my eye. I hate getting stuff in my eye. Don't you? A little bit more. Okay, look now. Well, I'll, show, I'll do one eye and show you. Right over the iris. Not rubbing it, I'm tapping it. <coughs> Excuse me, man, I got something in my throat. I got a feather in my throat or something. I'm gonna intensify this a little bit with the brown, kind of clean that up some. Hang on, got my hands full. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Back into my Vendom palette and kind of, kind of make this a little more distinct from the white. Yet I want it blended. Does that make sense? There you go. Uh oh. Am I full? <sighs> my camera messes up. Let me go do the other eye and then I'll come back, okay? I had to go in and delete. A couple of things before I could continue to record because I have so much stuff on my phone. I went ahead and did one eye right here. So, and yes, I added a little gold glitter and my little dots. So, let's finish this other eye. I'll show you what I did. <laughs> Got me a little uh, skinny brush here doing my eyeliner. I think I'm ready for the eyeliner. See, when I do one eye and don't do the other, I forget what I'm doing. So we are going to use this gel liner here. Trying to get as close to my eyelashes as possible. I'll show you something here. When you get older, this is what you got to deal with. See how bumpy that looks right there? That's because the tissues in my eyes are so delicate right now. It's called old age. I'm going to change that. It's more mature. <laughs> All right. So we're going to smooth it out. Try not to stretch the tissues. And then I came along with oh you commercials uh, uh tell ya getting worse and worse and worse aren't they okay so that was the gel eyeliner this is from kiss i'm liking it because uh when i don't use my gel pen which does the same thing doesn't smudge and i have such watery eyes now I'm going to use the pen, pencil, on the lower. 
and coming along a little more on the outer edge and then actually I'm just kind of going over the lashes and then I'm going to gently do the tear line. I don't always do the tear line anymore. Sometimes I do. Then we're going to do the tight lining because I'm going to do lashes. We are coming out with a growth mascara. So I may not even have to do lashes too much longer, right? That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to forget the mascara this time. I usually do. Oh, wait. I need to do my gold first. Don't let me forget my mascara. All right, what brush did I use for my gold? <gasps> Oh, there it is. This is Styla Liquid Gold. I'm really getting into that. Liquid glitter, rather. So I'm going to use a... It's... it's, it's um, I don't know what kind of brush this is. I've had it forever. But it's got stiff bristles on it. Just going to go above that eyeliner with it. You know, you could do it before you did your eyeliner, I guess, but, and I'm just, just want it to be ever so sparkly when somebody looks into my eyes, you know, just a little bit. I don't want to be gaudy. Going to work after all. With my little princess tots. Then we're going to go right there. You know what I think is cool too? Is something glitters all over my face. Probably this stuff. And you get kind of little sparklies all over your face. I think it's pretty. I know I'm nuts. Okay, so now I'm ready for the mascara. Then we'll do the lash. And what I'm going to do give you a break I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna put you on hold again and then we are going to do my final lash and then we'll be done today was all about green experiment have fun okay I'm gonna put you on hold I'll do the glue and all that good stuff okay I'll be right back Okay, let's get that last lash on. I love this little tool. I show it to you every time. Uh, I got it at Ulta, uh, Ulta Online, Ulta.com, and it's holding my little lash, and I kind of put it right in the middle. So I use that as a guideline, look down into a mirror, and then go in for the landing. I kind of twist my wrist up a little bit because I want to make sure that band of glue is going to touch right where I want it, okay? So we... A little thing on crooked. Okay. Here we go. In for the landing, girls. And sometimes my little tool wants to hang on to the lash. That drives me nuts. But every once in a while, some little, a little bit of the glue gets on my tool. <laughs> Gotta be clean. Here we go. better put it in the middle first and then I do the ends don't want to get too close sometimes I get too close to that corner and it you can tell when you're too close because it starts to stick you and then I kind of tap it I can really see some glue I went Went heavy with the glue today. Didn't seem like it when I was doing it. Another thing you can do once the glue dries is go back and touch up your eyeliner. So I'm kind of pushing them in with my finger. Yeah, and I show y'all this all the time. Don't throw your little toothpicks away when you get sandwiches at a restaurant. They're handy. Look at that. They'll also pick everything up. Try not to do that. 
If I'm going to have trouble at all, it's going to be in the corner. Right in this one, usually. Okay. Look at there. I'm all done. I think. All done. Okay. So today's video was about gold green. I did green. I did some gold. I did some brown. I'm all ready to go fix my lunch and get ready to go to work. I'm off tomorrow, so maybe I'll do something special tomorrow. Stay tuned. This is Marsha Holland, and my YouTube is Glam Mama. M-A-M-A-W. Glam Mama. So look me up. I put all this stuff on there. It's not a fancy YouTube. I don't have all the graphics and all that good stuff. It's just my videos. So if you know someone that would uh, like to watch somebody else do makeup, send them my way, okay? Love you. If you have any comments, put them in there and I'll answer you. So love you. Bye. See you later.